Good morning, Falcons. I'm Brandon Triplett. And I'm Jesse Smith, and this is the Falcon Report. Prom is this Saturday. Get your tickets at bookkeeping, hold on to the original ticket, and bring them to prom. Photos of tickets will not be accepted. Have you checked out Hanford Prom Proposals 2023? Submit your prom proposal for a chance to win VIP perks like furrow parking and skipping the line for everything. Even if you don't submit your prom proposal, be sure to vote for your favorite. Each like counts as a vote. Here's an important message from Model UN. Hey Falcons, do you love lively discussion? Have you always wanted to improve your public speaking? We have the perfect event for you. From Friday, May 12th to Saturday, May 13th, Hanford Model UN is hosting the very first Model UN conference in the Tri-Cities. Previously, if you wanted to participate in these unique events, you would have had to travel all the way to dirty Seattle. Now, we're bringing it to you. The conference will be hosted at Hanford High School on Friday, May 12th, and Saturday, May 13th. Registration is $24 and closes on May 9th. See the link on the screen for more information. And we'll see you there. There will be an informational meeting after school today for appointed positions for Executive Council in Mr. Mayor's room. Interviews will take place on Tuesday. The Hanford Credit Union will be handing out donuts for its members today. If you have accounts with Giza Credit Union, stop by during either lunch to grab a free donut. Meet with local colleges, military branches, apprenticeship programs, and future employers at the High School and Beyond Night hosted at TriTech. Graduating seniors will also have the opportunity for open interviews with a variety of employers. The event will take place tonight at TriTech from 5 to 7 p.m. It's time for the next episode of Falcon Trivia 3.0. Hey folks, welcome back to Falcon Trivia 3.0. I'm your host, Jonathan Simpson. Now, I know it's long past Thanksgiving, but I want to talk about turkeys. These chubby birds are seen as nothing more but fodder for our hunting rifles to shoot, then butcher, then eat. And we all love them that way. I know I love me some turkey, especially when it's fried. However, there was a time when turkeys were actually respected, and that happened a long time ago way back in ancient civilizations. And they weren't just respected, they were revered as gods. But which ancient civilization saw them that way? Well, why don't we find that out, shall we? Out of these four civilizations, which of these were simps for turkeys? A, the Inca, B, the Aztecs, C, the Egyptians, or D, the Mayas? Time's up. Let's see if you got it. The correct answer is the Mayas. Back in 300 BC, the Maya viewed turkeys as vessels for the gods and were coveted as symbols of power and prestige. These guys are everywhere in Maya arcanography. And they were thought to be beings of strange powers, thought to harm human nature from the nocturnal and dream space. Or maybe they were nuts, who knows? Well, that about does it for this episode of Falcon Trivia. I'm your host, Jonathan Simpson, and TTFN, talk ta for now. Did you miss the early tryouts for Hanford Cheer? There is an opportunity for last chance tryouts. All 8th through 11th graders interested in being part of a 14-time state champion cheer team plan to attend the Guardian Athlete Meeting on Monday, May 8th at 6 p.m. Trials will take place May 9th. See Coach Mayer for more information. Are you interested in learning more about American Sign Language? HHS has a new club, ASL Club, who will meet at 2.30 today in room 1603. Activities meeting today are Empower Hour in 110 and 2602, Math with Friends of Jake the Dog and the Commons, Molly One in 106, TM Poetry in 101, Pause and Cause Club in 2515, Peer Tutor Club in 112, Cubing Club in 2507, and Sports and Buddy Club at lunch in 1532. That's all for today. I'm Brandon Triplett. And I'm Jesse Smith. And this is the Falcon Report. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.